Man, that should have wore a helmet. Yesterday, I was riding the bike and I went into the same groove and the same thing happened to me yesterday, although I was able to get out of the groove and I didn't, I didn't think that like today I would get stuck in the same fucking groove. It's like, you might find it stupid as shit, but yeah, the fucking bike landed on my leg, my fucking arm, two people had to fucking get the bike off of me. Um... As far as the bike aesthetically, I don't give a shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I cared more that I didn't break any bones or anything like that. There was so much force in that crash, uh, the, the fall down, that it ripped the cables out of the back of my backpack. Literally ripped the cables out. Like, I have, um, I have these twist ties that keep it, like, and these twist ties, like, literally just rip the fuck off with the force of, the, of that crash. So, uh, I'm just thankful that I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I mean, yeah, there's definitely pain inside, but it, I didn't break anything. So that's the, the most important thing is I didn't break anything. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll show you the bike in a minute. Yeah, man, there's definitely some type of pain on the inside. I don't know, maybe a ligament or a tendon or some shit. I feel like I have strength in there. Just pain i would have been really really upset if like you know i got into an accident luckily for me it was just me crashing into the ground so ground zero bike me none i got fucked up by the ground the split second shit that i was able to do when the bike was falling down was kind of like just I, I don't even know what you would call it um like uh natural instinct or whatever like as soon as the bike was going down my first thought was just push that motherfucker off me so that way it doesn't crush my leg and luckily it didn't break my leg i mean i definitely got bruises on my leg but i didn't i think my leg didn't break bike got scratched but they're just decals so i mean i can they they sell the decals online. So there, scratched it all up on the side right there. But this is just one big sticker. So you can actually just replace the sticker. So I'm not, and the engine didn't get any any uh, damage at all. This got a little bit bent on the clutch, but I was able to bend it out. A little bit on the clutch as well as the steering wheel right there, but that's all. That's all the damage that, that it took. I'm really happy that, you know, I didn't fucking like go into a wall or anything like that. It doesn't hurt like this, but when I go to pick something up, even as light as a cup, then I can feel it. Yeah, it's just the muscles inside. Basically, it was a ditch, shallow hole that was about like, I don't know, five meters long. Just a straight, just a straight like kind of half tube in the ground. And when I was churning, my tire went inside and then I couldn't churn out of it. Like basically it was the perfect size for my tire. I'm just happy that I didn't break any bones. And I guess now thinking about it, I'm glad that I didn't buy an expensive bike. Cause if I would have laid down an expensive bike, I would have been really fucking pissed. So I didn't even get into a car a accident with another car. I just got into an accident with like the way that the street is. But once again, luckily I'm safe. Two guys came up to help me pick up the bike off my leg. Um, so shout out to them. It's crazy that the force of the, the force of the fall ripped all the cable ties off my backpack. Everything was just nuts. I don't even know if there was a clip. There wasn't a clip because I had the camera pointed downwards. When you're wearing a helmet? Yeah, I was wearing a helmet. I have a helmet, my helmet's right here. Fucking helmet's right there, shooey. 
I'm gonna shoey helmet right there.